Okay everyone, okay, so this is the final part of the flawless face and the tips that I've taught you, which were, if you wanna know what they are, all the links to the videos are in the description bar below. We contoured and highlighted. We then applied a liquid foundation, uh, a liquid or cream foundation with a touch of oil in to shear it out, to blend out everything so that the skin looks natural. We then absorbed all the excess oil with a sponge and a tissue, leaving behind this finish. Now, we still need to set this. So what you're gonna do is take a powder puff. You want a large one or a small one, doesn't really matter, and take a loose, no color powder. It must be a no color powder or a translucent powder. It cannot have any color in it at all because, you know, for this look, we want to keep it completely, we don't want to change the color of the blusher or the foundation because we can do that later on with color. So I'm going to use this one by RCMA called No Color Powder. So it looks like this. And what you want to do is apply it to your powder puff, just a small amount into the powder puff. Looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Then fold the powder puff in half, and they still teach this in makeup schools. This is where I originally learned it. And then you're going to rub it into the puff. And then you're going to open it up and then fold it the other way and rub it into the puff so that all that powder is ingrained into the actual powder puff. Then when you open it up, you're going to do this four times to release any excess powder. Then you're gonna pull it, so wrap it the other way around your finger, and you're then going to do fingerprints, like you're giving a fingerprint. It's a pressing motion, and you are going to set your foundation this way. You are pressing it, you're not ever doing this, and when you get underneath the eyes, you're gonna just set it kindly, considerately, like it's a lover. And that is how you would set your makeup. And you do the other thing on the other side. It's that kind of, so for areas for me, such as the top of the cheekbones, I might really kind of press it a bit more where I know that I really need it to set. And then you are left with a gorgeous, flawless face as best you can get that's ready to take on blusher, highlighter and bronzer. And what's really great about this, when we did the cream blush, what you can do, especially if you want to look really, you know, delicious, is powder the face, but as you come to the cheeks where the cream blush is, just go around them. Leave that area moist and gorgeous and glowing. And that is how you basically turn your powder puff into a taco, but that is how you set the makeup. It's this press and roll motion. You're not disrupting or moving the skin, and you are left with skin that looks like skin. And I could go out like this and nobody would know there's anything on my face, despite the fact that I had all these lines drawn on it, that I had you know, all this contouring work and all this you know, other stuff going on. And now it's all blended out and it looks natural and healthy and it's ready to go wherever you want to take it with a smoky eye or a lip or both or whatever. Thanks for watching and I will see you all very soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.